Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Vanilla server. I hope you guys are all doing good. Today we're on episode 39. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So today we're going to be building down in our actual base some. Uh, I kind of want to make a potion room. We haven't really dealt with potions a lot. Now, we're not going to be like making completely automatic. We're going to be making, we're going to be focusing more on bulk potions than anything. So I was kind of curious, like, I know that we need warts. Welcome to uh, Cup Farms War Farm. Free fill to re use the signs. Uh, use the buttons. Use buttons to harvest one fourth, one half of the entire farm. Push against the trap door and move laterally to easy replant. Hit the button once to harvest it again to stop the water. I'll make sure to always replant. Okay. Huh, that's cool. You it does seem like it's pretty easy to replant. And it looks like there's what four floors. Harvest one through four. That's a lot of harvesting. <laughs> so I'm assuming that just this one. Side button, harvest half, 1500 wart. Okay. Wow, that's that's actually a lot of work. I'm not exactly sure. Floor button to harvest. So I'm going to hit this one. Uh, did I do anything? Oh my god. I have to replant all of these. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't. I just wanted like one floor that's all i wanted that's all i wanted but there is a lot of ward here so i don't think we'll have to worry about it much jesus christ a lot of ward here man <laughs> okay well i'm gonna let that run for a minute because it's gotta let all the work collect i've gotta replan it um oh my goodness look at all this wart dude all right well i'm gonna replant so i'm gonna get replanting i wonder how long it takes for it to all fall down I don't see any more. Um, so if I'm assuming if I hit the water again, turns it off. No. I see what it means though. If you do one side, it harvests half of it. How do you um? How does one turn it off? Huh. Let me read the signs again. Uh, hit the button once to harvest and again to stop the water. The water is not stopping. Maybe if I hit this button instead. Um. What's the problem? Let me go upstairs real fast. I think this might be broken. I hit the button. I don't know what other button I'm supposed to hit. Oh, no. That side's doing its thing now. What in the world? This side is not. Well, um, interesting. Let me go downstairs. And just hit this button. I need to put some of this wart in uh, a storage area. There's so much of it. I don't know why it's... Is it not turning off? Yeah, it's weird. It's like because it's so high or something, it's not turning off. It's finally turning off now, thank God. Okay, well, um, I need to replant, so I'm going to do that. All right, so I want to put our potion room, I'm thinking right here, um, both of these rooms. So what we'll do is we'll remove some of this. Um, just got to decide on how far back we want it to come. So if that's the middle pillar, you got to think, um, where do we want the potion brewing, the potions to be stored, and the ingredient storage? So I'm thinking that 
I would like to have the... I would actually like... See, I don't know. Because I don't know how many potions I want to do. Here, let's make... Let's do a visual. Um, fire resist. Regen. Uh, speed. Strength. Night vision. Invisibility. How many is that? That's six. Leaping, seven. Let's make it to where we have enough for eight potions. I don't think there's any other potions. I know that there's instant health. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of instant health, though, to be honest with you. I know it's used for other things. We might use that as our eighth potion. Who knows? Uh, all right, let's get rid of all this real fast. Okay, so uh, we'll be able to walk in from both sides. So if we're going to do eight potions, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's seven right there. Um, okay, maybe we use uh, the middle portion as a um, as a place to put the, the I cannot talk today. As a place to put our um, brewing stands. And we can have all the stuff we need there for that. So we'll do like, we'll skip one probably. So here, 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 here. And then on the sides, we'll have like eight rows of three tall. And then on this side, we'll have all of our ingredients. Um, I'm not sure how many ingredients we're going to have, but I guess it wouldn't be too bad. Um... Yeah, I think that'll work. So it's just going to be kind of a nice square room. So um, how do I want to do this? Let's go over here. I'm looking. Okay. So we'll have we'll have this right here. Obviously, that's a different block. And then another one back there. That'll be the very, very back wall. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we look at this again, we have the archway, then we have the wall. All right. So I think what we're going to do, that would be the archway. This will be the wall. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then something like that, I think. So what I need to do is I just need to get, um, I want to get things sort of, um, sort of get, you know, get all this cleaned up or whatever. And we'll come back and we'll start laying everything out, I think. All right, I've got the room kind of dug out the way I want it to, I think. Now, um, here. Uh, we have two options. Put the potions stored on this side or this side or in the middle. I think I'm going to do in the middle. So I go here. The only problem is I'm not sure where I'm going to store the ingredients. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just, I was thinking maybe in the ceiling. That could totally work. I was actually thinking about doing dispensers. Um. Hmm. I was also thinking about doing a button system up here with like signs here that kind of told us what potion ingredient was what. And then I wasn't, I'm not sure if that would work or not either. But really just, it either needs to be dug out more or something because there's eight chests here, which means we can stack them double high. So just not sure to be honest with you. Now we could do the storage underneath of here, like in these. To be honest, I'm just not sure how much there is. Um, let's see. We know that there's another wart. Then eight ingredients for our potions. Then invisibility has an extra ingredient. So that's what's um, that's ten. So that's twelve spots. Then we could put water bottles on one side, maybe. We might just need to find somewhere else to put the ingredients or do like a downstairs area, maybe. I'm not sure just yet. 
but we do have a good base layout and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go ahead and work on this and try to finish up this room some okay i think i solved our problem one the room inside was too short uh, i was off by a block so i fixed that block um um so then i cut this room in half so this side will be for potions this side will be for ingredients so we have 12 and 12 and we have uh, eight brew stands. So the reason why I don't have 12 brew stands is because if I only want to brew one potion, then I have as many brew stands as I want to brew that potion. We do have one problem, though. How am I going to close this off up here? Because typically we just do this thing right here, like all the way across. This is what we have here. And if you look outside, that's what it is. And those don't, you know. They don't connect or anything like that and i am not sure what i'm going to do because i can't leave it like that i mean and i can't make it full either because then the chest won't be able to open so if i go like this the chest will still be able to open um and i can't put those in front of it what if I do something like this instead? Nah, that's pretty bad looking too. The only thing I could think to do would be change up our design just a little bit. And the back wall have an arch. Let's see if there's any slabs over here. Slavish slabs. Make some. <clears throat> and then... This is the only thing I could think to do is to close that off, which is fine, I guess. I typically wouldn't do it like that, but that's, you know, this is plenty of room for storage for potions. And we'll have um, item frames there. I think we have plenty of item frames left, actually. Let's see if I have them in here. I don't know if I took them upstairs or not. Uh... Maybe I don't have any item frames left. Check over here, too. I might have taken them somewhere else. And yeah, we'll check over here one more time. Because I think I might have used them down below, down in the other room down there. Uh Oh, yeah, we have pulled Oh, my God, we have 64. I didn't realize I had that many. So the only thing we'll need to do... Obviously, is get the potions brewed, one of each that we want. And then get one of each ingredient in here. We need to finish the ceiling, and we need to finish the floor, and then we need to get some lighting in here as well. Now, there's already some lighting, it's just not enough, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this room up besides all the ingredients and stuff like the floor and the ceiling finished. With that lighting, we'll come back and take a look at it. All right, I learned something new today. First time that I've learned something new in Minecraft in quite a long time. Bedrock transmits redstone. <laughs> We're on such a low level that some of these, um, they won't be able to uh, have like lamps below them because they have bedrock. And I'm like, I wonder. And by the way, the reason why I'm putting lamps in the floor is because their ceiling is so tall that even if I put lamps in there, for example, in this room, this has no effect on this. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about actually removing everything from the ceiling and putting them in the floor. Uh, it just seems like it'd probably be better um, for lighting's sake if we do so. Fill these back in. I might come back through and add a variety of blocks in here because... Not gonna lie, we're getting a little stone bricky. <laughs> There's a little bit of stone brick in this base, but it's okay. I hope that's about the same distance. Definitely not the same distance. This is like such a weird intersection. Okay, you. And. You. Oops, I forgot to. Forgot to do my thing. There we go. And you. Now, uh, that actually seems like like a ton better, actually. 
I kind of want to work on this section, though. Is there any way we can make this better? Not really. <laughs> there, I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of its own thing. It's kind of considering... Maybe... Well, what if we take this away? So that just leaves that. And we still have this here. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to put that back. I'm not gonna put it back. Yeah, that doesn't... I was just kind of hoping that might, like, work. Not gonna work. Anyways, um... Probably should figure out some lighting situation in here, too. It's gonna be a little bit different in here, because it's kind of gonna be uneven, I think. Maybe something like that, I think. And there's lava over there. That's not sketchy at all. That will major that takes care of the majority of it. Hmm. Okay, and I was thinking we're gonna need to have water in here too, right? I had an idea. I wanna remove these two and put slabs there. Now, the question is, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to see. What if we get rid of this? Hmm. If we do that, then I would almost want it to come back kind of far, you know what I'm saying? Try to cover it up a little bit so you can't really see all that far back there. And maybe. And I filled in the one thing I didn't want to fill in. <laughs> Oops. I have to get a bucket for that. But I'm thinking about something like that. That way we can get to the water. Same thing on this side. Um, and then I was thinking a couple other little uses of the base that might make this a little bit more feasible. Uh, I have chests here. Uh, I can't open that one. Now, obviously, I can make it to where I could, but... What if I put a chest right here? And then... Stone slab over top here. Let me see if I have a bucket real fast. I don't know if I would have ever needed a bucket down here or not. I'm sure I have one. There we go. Let's fix that water source real fast. There we go. So something like that. And then... That... Hmm. We can almost switch back to stairs if we wanted to. You. So how does that affect the... Can I... Oh yeah, I can grab that no problem. And I cannot open that. Why can I not open that? I thought I put slabs over top of that. Oh, I didn't. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting nether warts or bottles in that. Um, maybe bottles? I'm not sure. I don't think nether warts should go as an ingredient, though. Uh, because that's going to be used to make all the base potions. So, yeah. Let's check and see. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to this side. It'll make it a little bit more usable, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, make it, make it to where it's more of a feasible thing. So fill that in. There, and then remove that, 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 that. There we go. Yeah, that's, that, that actually works out pretty good. OK, 
Okay. I like that a lot, actually. That uh, that really blends well and makes it, you know, fit in there pretty good. Is there anything else we could do to really make this work well? Uh, as long as we have access to water, we should be good to go. Right, I'm liking this room more and more as we go on. All right, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to go ahead and end the video. I didn't realize I rambled on for 20 minutes already. I swear these videos go so fast sometimes, especially when you just get caught up in what you're doing. You're just like, if I don't if I don't catch it, I'll end up recording for like 50 minutes or something. But I, I really do like this room a lot. If you have any ideas for it, as always, leave a comment. Let me know. And um, we're going to have to actually get this functional. I don't know how we're going to get some of the things like gas tiers. It's going to be pretty hard to get, I think. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode. So I hope you guys all have a great day. And if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like. Otherwise, this is iJevin. Peace out.